afternoon, Viva MK. Um, normally I'm reading motivational books, but today I'm reading the Shakespeare Insult Generator. Thank you, Zinnia. That's a fantastic tool and it really has come in handy. But you know what? I've got absolutely no reason to insult anybody anywhere because we have so much focus going on, nothing becomes a distraction. You know, when you're so focused on achieving something, nothing but nothing but nothing, even repeated messages from Jeff Owen is a distraction. Nothing is a distraction. And like the Churchill saying goes, if you stop and throw stones at every barking dog, you will never, ever get to your destination. And I have never in the last few weeks known such a true statement. Not that Jeff Owen or anybody in the Viva MK is a barking dog. I'm just talking about distractions in general. You cannot stop at distractions. You cannot stop at barking dogs. And by barking dogs, the metaphor is somebody being negative or some somebody being obstructive. You cannot stop and throw stones. And those words are so true. You cannot stop throw stones at every barking dog. Otherwise, you will not get to your destination. I think enough said. Most importantly, and really importantly, exactly 48 eight hours from now, in exactly 48 hours, we will, we will be opening, or I will be opening the Viva MK Don't Stop Me Now showcase, exactly 48 hours time. A showcase that many said wouldn't even happen, a showcase that people were dubious about, and yet 400 of you are turning up on the day to not just celebrate what we've achieved together, but what, more importantly, we're going to achieve going forward. For me, like I've always said to you, um, as was the case in February when we did our first showcase, it is a feeling of home where old friends get together again and we realise that connection that's always been there with this set of people. You'll see people from the past you haven't seen in a long time. You'll see people there that have been responsible for helping not only this business grow, but from the clean easy years, helping that business grow because we must never ever forget our incredible legacy and where most of us came from and the business that taught us almost everything we know. Um, even Lloyd Brown is going to gate crash the event. Couldn't stop him, stop him and when I tried, he simply said, don't stop me now. Typical. So even Lloyd Brown will be there. So as I said, it is a feeling of home. 48 hours now, you will feel that and you know exactly what I mean and we have so much to celebrate. Um, as you know, the last few weeks have been an absolute whirlwind and sometimes these whirlwinds are absolutely necessary. You know, nothing worth having is ever going to be easy. I think I learned that lesson on the very first day I started working at Clean Easy. Nothing worth having is ever going to be easy. So no, it hasn't been easy, but every single second has been worthwhile. Made worthwhile with a team that work with me directly and made worthwhile by every single one of you that have supported us in the background. Even when things have gone terribly wrong, you have been there supportive. I have never seen in all my years throughout any business I have ever worked in a connection like we created in only the last few days, let alone last few weeks. Look, it's the 29th of August today. I don't need to tell you that. You know, we're 48 hours away from our showcase. 29th of August. It was only on the 26th of July that I told you what had happened in the business, that I became the solo partner. So those few weeks have flown by and there has been much to achieve. You remember we had nothing on the 26th of July except this fantastic collection of people that won't stop at anything to achieve what they want. Fantastic bunch of people that stick together, connect together, relate together and create that feeling of home. And that's all we really had. But you know what? That was enough. As you'll see in 48 hours, that was enough to get us where we are today. 
not just heading to the event that matters more than any other event, but what we will talk about in that event, how we will go forward, what we will sell in our business and how the next few months and years will form. You know, I've always said to you, you know, we haven't come this far to only come this far and we have come so far. But when I look into the distance, it is so far yet we have to go. But as the old adage goes, when you're going in the dark and you're in your car, you can only see 200 feet ahead because of your headlights, but you still keep going as each of the 200 feet get lit up whilst you're driving your car. And that's so important to remember. And I know our destination, but sometimes you can only see 200 feet ahead and you have to have the faith to travel that 200 feet knowing it's actually going to be okay because sometimes that's all you can see even though you know your destination of course i know our destination i've always known our destination but sometimes especially in the last few weeks all i've had to have the faith in is your support your encouragement and that 200 feet that i can see in what else would be regarded as pitch black and and that's what i've been relying on so, you know, in the last couple of lives I've done with you, I've told you some of the things that we were attempting to do, like putting that moose head up, um, as in the uh, faulty tower sketch goes. Once you get up on the ladder, you're trying to put it up. Somebody else asks, how's it going? And you have to come down, answer the phone and tell them you're still doing it. Well, that's how it's been, but it's all good. It's all really good. So the three biggest projects we had in the last four weeks was logistics, which is picking and packing and delivery and warehousing and all that. Um, then, of course, cattle catalogs and products themselves. So all three of those are ready to go and I'll tell you all about that at the showcase in 48 hours. I'm not going to spoil any of that surprise now. Um, so we've got a lot going for ourselves. We've got a lot happening in the next few weeks but what will matter the most is not what we have collectively achieved or our destination. It's how we take what we got, what we get and what we have in 48 hours and it's how we move forward with that that will matter the most. Look, in the last few days, we've almost worked with absolutely nothing. So, and even then, you've created some fantastic waves and achieved some fantastic things. You know, there's some things in the past we have to forget, but one thing we will never forget is the camaraderie we've created from the legacy of the business that we're all from. And that takes us forward. You you know, everything I've ever learned has come from that business and the connection of people, not even the business itself, but the people. But then, like I've always said to you, the people are the business. There is no other business. You're never going to be a commodity. You're never going to be something that is just used because you're so powerful at what you do. You are going to be valued and feel like partners in what we're trying to achieve collectively. Again, you know, at the showcase, we'll have that feeling, we'll have that camaraderie, and you will know exactly where we're heading and what we're heading forward with. So I can't wait to do all that. It's Saturday couldn't come quick enough. In fact, it could because the next 48 hours are also really busy getting things together. Um, we'll see many of you, of course, tomorrow evening as well. We've got a lot of people arriving on Friday. Um, my, my target for this showcase originally, knowing how showcases go and the availability and people and the expense of these things. You know, I my original target was 250 people. And I always used to think that if I get to 250, I will be really pleased with this showcase. So like I've said, and like you saw in Kirsty's post yesterday, we sold 400 tickets. So that is phenomenal. And 200 people coming to dinner. That target was 150. So 200 people that will celebrate in the evening. Even this alone is a phenomenal achievement for us. Now, along the way, especially the last few weeks, there's been a few mountains to climb. But you know what? I don't think there have been mountains at all. I think the more mountains you climb during your life, and we've all done them, not just in this business, but previous businesses in our personal lives, you know, the more mountains you climb, the greater the mountaineer you become. As simple as that. So some of the things that have happened in the last week or so, or in the last couple of weeks, have more been like molehills to me. Okay, sometimes they do throw you temporarily off track, but I'll tell you something, 
every single time it's been temporary. Nothing, whether it was a deliberate obstruction or whether it was an accidental obstruction or whether it was um, something that just happened completely out of the blue. None of it has deterred us from the focus that we've had to had in place. And I don't think I've ever known the meaning of focus the, uh, in the way that I've known it in the last four weeks, that you have to, with laser-like vision, know where you're going, feel those two to 300 yards ahead of you when the rest is absolutely pitch black. Know and trust that you will go in the right di direction and let nothing but nothing distract you. When you have climbed enough mountains, they're no longer mountains, are they? Because you now know how to climb them. You know, the, the, the people that conquer Everest, and I don't want to suggest for one second that I, I, you know, we're as, I'm as noble as that, far from it. But my point is, as a metaphor, those people that conquer Everest, well, no other mountain is a challenge after that. I believe we have metaphorically conquered Everest many times. So anything else, bring it on. We can conquer it. We can go around it. We can go over it. We can even smash through it. And that's exactly what we've done in the last few weeks. Um, you know, we've achieved all the goals that I wanted to achieve, which also includes a plan going forward. So I look forward to celebrating that with you and giving you all the details for that and appreciate you, of course, um, being there for those of you that can make it. I know some people can't make it. There will be an end of the day email after the showcase that will go out to the entire database so you'll know exactly what's going on, even if you can't attend. Um, so that is home to look forward to. That is what feels like home to me, where it's people that will be there because they want to be there, not because they've been bullied to be there, that they can even sit where they want to. They're not forced to sit in any particular position or in any particular angle. It, it, it's just this feeling that people are valued and we're in this together. Don't let anything become a distraction over the next 48 hours. Let's stay focused on what we need to do. As I say, in 48 hours, we'll be 15 minutes in to our Don't Stop Me Now showcase. And when we first came up with that title, goodness knows that it was gonna have the relevance that it ended up having. Um, and it stands so true, like Lloyd Brown said, you can't stop me now, don't stop me now from coming. Same goes for this business, same goes for me, and same goes for any individual that is on board and, and on our side. You know, don't stop us now, we're going to do this, we're going to do it in 48 hours. I'll look forward to seeing you there and celebrating that feeling of home and you know when you feel it, you know exactly what I mean. And I have never in my entire career known that feeling in a business anywhere in the world in all the companies I've ever worked in. It's unique to us, it's special to us. So yes, just to clarify, you know, we've achieved everything we wanted to achieve. Um, I'll relay all that detail to you. And the rest is come, please come focus with going forward after that. Please come with this idea that we can carry this forward if we've been through what we've already been through. We have conquered Everest many, many times, which means no mountain ever is going to be more of a challenge. There is never gonna happen. You know, we've done, we've done the best, we've done the worst. Now it's really time to look forward. So listen, thank you for joining me. There's still a lot to achieve in the next 48 hours. A lot of moose heads to still put up um, and come down the stairs and come go back and put them up again. Um, so I will see you at midday on Saturday the 31st of August when we will celebrate everything we've achieved and everything we're going to achieve in the future. Thank you for listening and thank you for being on side. It makes all the difference. Remember, we're a people's business, we're the people's business and that is one part of the business that will never ever go out of fashion. That will always be the trend that people make us what we are. Thank you.